Hi, everybody. It's Erica from On Strategy. Today's whiteboard tip is from one of our recent CEO interviews on how to drive innovation with your vision. Great visions inspire action and help your team think about meaningful actions they can take by giving them these three tips. Number one, think impact. Great actions have impact, not just outcome, on staff, customers, and community. Number two, allow for failure. Not everything's gonna work, so allow people to explore and test. Number three, and arguably most importantly, make it personal. Help your team understand how their day-to-day -day actions connect with the future state. We learned this tip from DT during his interview in our show, Strategy Stories for the Real World. DT is the CEO of Experience Kissimmee, a direct marketing and tourism organization in Florida. Let's jump into a piece of his interview so you can hear how being bold is driving innovation for him. We've had really big um, marketing successes um, that have gained a lot of um, attention from the media and things. So we, just to give you one example of a really cool thing that we did a couple years um, back was um, we have several attractions here that are amazing zip line attractions where you zip line over alligators, live alligator pit and things like that. Um, and so we went up the first year we went to Chicago, we targeted the Chicago market because that's such a great market for us. And mm -hmm. we, we engaged with the uh, independent company that we actually um, down in Grant Park, which is the main park in Chicago down on the lake in mm -hmm. February in the middle of the cold, it was the coldest week of the year it happened to be. And we built a massive zip line in downtown Chicago. And then we invited, um, we invited consumers to come down and we had warming tents. So we had tents with live alligators. We brought alligators up from Kissimmee. We had an airboat there um, on the lake. And so we were showing consumers the whole kind of giving them the experience Kissimmee experience in the dead of winter in Chicago. And we had lines, they were lining up at, at some point on Saturday, there was a two hour wait to get on the zip line and it was freezing cold, but we had every media outlet in Chicago down there covering it for the weekend. Um, it was Valentine's weekend and President's Day weekend. And so we were encouraging, you know, bring your Valentine's date down and do a zip line in the middle of the winter in downtown Chicago and things. And so that was so successful that we moved it to Boston the next year and did the same thing in, or a similar situation in Boston. But we're always trying to do um, kind of out of the ordinary events and things that we'll call a lot of media. And also nowadays, you know, the big thing is social media. Mm -hmm. and, had people posting like crazy and down there and the attention that we got, it was really amazing. The amount of attention and the amount of exposure that we received in the Chicago market for that weekend event. That is such a cool event. I've been to Grant Park. I've also been to Chicago in the dead of winter. So I can see why that drew a lot of attention. That is phenomenal. We did. We also did. We, we didn't charge for them to ride on the zip line, mm -hmm. but encourage people to bring um, winter coats to donate if they had old winter coats and for the homeless. And yeah. we, we were able in that weekend, we, we, were, we collected over a thousand winter coats that we donated back to the community, to the homeless, to, to help with the homeless in, in the winter time in Chicago. So it was a really, it was not only a great event to market our destination, but mm -hmm. a great event to give back to one of our key top tourism markets. That is phenomenal. And, uh, and helping at the same time, helping the most vulnerable among us. That was, that's amazing. That is, that is truly amazing. And there you have it. Don't forget to check out DT's full interview in the link in the description. And of course, happy strategizing. Mm -hmm.